What's going on, guys? This is David here. Wow, it's been a long time since I said that. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get the PP Jailbreak app from the App Store using this Burner Apple ID so that that way you can have a permanent method to boot back into jailbreak mode on iOS 9.2 through 9.3.x. So as you guys could see, I am on 9.3.3. Now, obviously, in order for this to work, you have to be on a version of iOS that was supported by this previous jailbreak. So iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3. Also, this has to be on 64-bit devices. So anything before the iPhone 5S will not work. So unfortunately, guys, nothing much has changed with this jailbreak. It's basically the same thing. You just made it onto the App Store. And this is a much more, much more permanent way of actually making sure that if you like iOS 9 and you want to stay on iOS 9, then you can actually preserve this jailbreak for a longer period of time. This PG client app is nothing really new. It was on the App Store for about a month, and then it was before the jailbreak community had heard of it. And then as soon as everybody knew from the jailbreak community, it lasted about a day before Apple went and pulled it. So because Apple went and pulled it and it's not available directly on the App Store anymore, we have to use this burner ID. Now this burner ID was created for the sole purpose of downloading this app called PG Client. So without this Apple ID, if you go into the App Store and you search for PG Client, if you even get a search result to pop up, it's not going to be the one that you want. And it's not going to be the one that has the PP jailbreak application actually embedded inside of it. So it's not going to be the one that we want. And the way that we get the one that we want is to actually go and use this burner Apple ID. So again, it's just the way it is. Hopefully with iOS 10, there is another type of PG client-esque thing. So that way we can all go and download it for our specific Apple IDs. If you were actually around when that happened and you were able to get it for your personal app ID, that's one thing, and that will work with this. The, the same method, basically, that you're using to get the app using this burner Apple ID. If you have it personally on your Apple ID, you can use that same method. I know I've been talking a whole lot, but right before we get into how to actually do this, it's very interesting because, to me anyway, the PG Client app is actually a little bit more reliable in a weird way than the PP app or the Pangu app is sometimes. And I'll show you what I mean by that later. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and actually open up the App Store. And once we're there, we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom to where we see Sign In. If you don't see Sign In, you already have your Apple ID signed in. So sign out and then sign in using an existing Apple ID, and then you can go ahead and type in the Apple ID username, which is toiletpod at iCloud.com, and then the password, which is 2016, do, capital N, capital O, capital T, and then the rest is lowercase, use iCloud. Make sure you have all of that right in order for this to work. And just in case the password changes or something changes with the status of this Apple ID, I'll go ahead and let you guys know down below in the description. So now we're just going to wait for a little while and there it is. And now all we have to do is go to the updates tab, go to where it says purchased. And then now we want to scroll all the way down and it will be the very first result there. It says PG clients, the very first application. So you can go ahead and tap on the cloud button and now it's going to go ahead and install PG client. Bam, there it is. It was that easy. So now it's on our device. And you guys can see if I tap on that, it opens up. It says PG Client would like to send you notifications. So we'll go ahead and press OK. We'll tap on the circle and let it spin and wait until it lets us know to lock our device, which should be right after it's done spinning. So we just wait for that. There it is. So now we can go ahead and lock our device. We're going to wait for the notification now, and it should show up any second. There it is. And once we see the notification, it should automatically boot into a jailbroken mode. So there's the Apple logo. And then once we come back, we should see that we are jailbroken again with all of our favorite tweaks. Now, obviously, if this is the first time that you're jailbreaking your device with this PG client application, 
you will just see Cydia. You're not going to see any difference. The only thing you're going to see that's different is that Cydia is now on your home screen. So you can go ahead and customize your device any way you want and you have the freedom to do that now. So that is super, super cool that we got this jailbreak from the App Store. It's just mind-blowing that Apple just didn't check at all. They just really let in any app. They just didn't care. So I really do wonder kind of the technology that was behind this. Um, they really did try to, like I guess, make a lot more fluff inside of the application. Uh, obviously, the screenshots were faked so that they could get into the App Store. But it's just crazy to me how they would let an actual jailbreak application inside of the App Store, like a application that actually jailbreaks their phone. Like the fact that they let it in the App Store for like a month is crazy. So we're back in the non-jailbroken mode. And really quick, I just wanted to show you, now I'm going to use the Pangu app to actually reboot into a jailbroken state. Now the difference between all of these apps is the Pangu app only gives you until April of 2017 at this point to use it. At the rate that we're going for the iOS 10 jailbreak, we might have to use this for a bit longer than April 2017. But in all seriousness, guys, this should keep you covered for as long as you need it. This one only works for a year, so that one might or might not keep you covered, but if you really like this jailbreak and you want to stay on it for longer than a year, for like a long time, then this app, PG Client, will give you the ultimate golden ticket. The reason why we call it the golden ticket method is because this is signed by Apple. This means that it's not signed by them, it's not signed by a third party, it is signed by Apple, so you can use this application indefinitely. However, we're gonna show you guys that right now, even though we had thought previously that the Pangu application would be the best bet because everything's in English and you guys can all understand it, that might not be always the case. Sometimes, for whatever reason, the Pangu app, as well as the PP Jailbreak app, have issues when loading back up the jailbreak. For some reason, like the issue that I'm getting right now, it will reboot the device and it'll, or maybe not reboot, but respring the device and it'll look like it's gonna come back up in a jailbroken state, but instead it just does absolutely nothing. So you're kind of wasting your time at this point um, you know, with this. So the way to actually make it more reliable and make it work pretty much all of the time is by using this PG client application. For some reason, maybe it's because of the fact that Apple is actually signing it themselves. Maybe that has something to do with it and it's making it more effective and better to actually use. So just keep that in mind that if you really, really, really want something that's gonna be effective and you wanna be able to use this indefinitely and for a longer time than both the Pangu application and the original PP jailbreak application, then I would get PG Client. So you guys saw there that it failed the first time around. Now you can keep experimenting with the Pangu app if you want and you wanna completely disregard this video. But like I said, I find that the PG client app is more reliable. So if you want a more reliable solution to this and you're going to be here, you're going to be stuck here for a little while, then I would consider doing this. It all depends though, because the iOS 10 jailbreak could be coming very soon. Although, like I said, at this rate, who knows? But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please be, sh but hopefully, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. But anyway, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap that like button. I have not been making videos in a super long time. That's just pretty much because there hasn't been that much to make videos about. I'm trying this video out without an intro or an outro. So it's going to be a little bit weirder than normal. Um, I'm still going to do the regular outro, but no music, none of that stuff. Uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter and the rest of my social media, which is down below in the description. And until next time, guys, this is David signing out. Peace. Wow. All right, well, I guess this is a good video to come back on. Hopefully when I come back, we will have an iOS 10 jailbreak.